Game Dude Matt, back again with another video, another package video, and this particular package I'm actually pretty excited about. You see, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna do this one-handed, so it's probably gonna be a little difficult. Yeah, that adhesive is actually very strong. I guess I can't really complain about that. That's that's a good thing. You don't want you know packages coming open. Now, let's see here. Uh, get that open there. There goes the box. Now we got this. And uh, before I go ahead and just tear this open, let's see here. Where are my scissors at? Well, can't seem to find my scissors. Just a moment. Let me go get those. Okay. All right, good. Anyways, before I get this open, I'll tell you a little story here. A little while back, you know, I had a PSP. I did. A, I put a lot of work into it. it had an eight gig memory card. I had it modified with the uh, latest. Uh, what's that called? <laughs> Custom firmware. Yeah. And oh my lord, I had a deck out. I had. You know, Super Nintendo emulator on it, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Gear. I had regular PlayStation games burnt, you know, copied over to it, you know. I had episodes of cartoons I liked, whatever, you know. I had all kinds of stuff on that PSP. And I made the mistake of just leaving it in my car when I went to work. And, you know, even though the doors were locked, somebody managed to break into my car and they took my PSP and the 8 gig memory card, all that good stuff. So this right here, you can pretty much therefore get an idea of what I've got here. And my, my mom actually got me this for my birthday to make up for all that. You know, she obviously was moved by the whole thing. <laughs> you know, it's what a parent does, I guess. I got something pretty cool though. This listing she got off of eBay, right? And it's not. Gee, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a familiar sight. This is actually rather cool. It's not just <clears throat> one PSP or anything like that, because you know I would've been fine with that. Ah oh, yes, look at that. It's it's in phenomenal shape. Oh yeah. Let me tell you something here. There's that, and there's still more in this package. This listing actually came with two PSPs. It's got one charger, but that's fine. I still got my original charger. That, fortunately, wasn't in the car. And let's pull this out. Yeah, see, there's the second one. This one comes with two. Now. I guess the second one has a few minor problems, like I guess the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi uh, switch doesn't work, and I guess the the thumbstick will kind of stick to the right whenever you play games, and I guess something is wrong with the select screen. But seems like it's minor problems. I might be able to fix that myself. So hey, if I can, wonderful. You know, I got two fully functioning PSPs. If not, you know, I guess I can just sell it for parts or something. But you know, other than that. Yeah, not, not a bad deal, really. But, main event, two PSPs, right? And if that's not enough, both of these have already been hacked. I mean, I can do it my own self, but uh, these have both already been hacked, actually. And they have the latest and greatest, you know, newest versions of the custom firmware. So it's not like I'll have, you know, outdated firmware on it. As you can see here, this person also has um, downloaded a bunch of games already, so I can do what I want with these, I guess. But I can't wait to mod it. <laughs> I can't wait to add all the good stuff that I want to add. But not only does it come with, you know, two PSPs that have custom firmware. Let's see here. Oh, look at this. 
it's not just a memory card, it's a uh, PSP memory card micro SD adapter. Let me get that out and show you that. <laughs> yeah, it said it came with an 8 gig card, and the 8 gig card, I think I can't focus on it, unfortunately, it's a little too small for this camera. But that little card there sticking out of it there on my finger is 8 gigs. That's pretty cool, actually. And I guess this is the case to hold it. So that's definitely different. So yeah, I also got the uh, got the memory card that I lost pretty much right back. But uh, now I wasn't going to. I'm going to show you one more thing, and I wasn't going to uh, originally put it in this video as well. But since we're on the subject, I might as well do it. Most people don't exactly like to go to pawn shops, most gamers that is, because you know sometimes you get filthy things, you know, dirty items, whatever. Well, I say always check anyways, you never know what you'll find. Um, we have a few local game stores here in Oklahoma, and if you're from here, you, you know them already. It's a game exchange and vintage stock. And certain things, yeah, I don't like their prices on certain things. For instance, PSP memory cards. A 2 gig is like 5 bucks. I guess that's not bad. A 4 gig is like 15 to 20 and an 8 gig is like $40, right? Well, I checked out a local pawn shop in Wagner and let me show you this real quick. 8 gig, you can't see that really. 8 gig PSP memory card, that's what it is. Let me show you the price here. Here's the price sticker. $15. Not 40, not 50 or anything like that. $15 for an 8 gig PSP memory card. And I plugged it in and checked it out. It's completely clean and just ready to have things put on it. So now I've got two 8 gig memory cards and two already hacked PSPs that I won't have to do any modifying on. I might have to fix that one down there. You know, I'll have to check into that soon. But thank you, Mom. That's an awesome birthday present. And, you know, I can't wait to get all the stuff I want loaded on there. And maybe I'll, uh, do a video over that soon. Maybe I'll show you all some of the stuff that you can do with the PSP. It's potentials you can unlock. But for now, that's it. And what a really awesome package to get in the mail. Feels like Christmas. <laughs> well, thank you for watching.